Did you know that all the negative aspects of yourself, all the parts of yourself that you didn't like, are actually blessings in disguise? In this video, I'm going to be talking about how we can turn our demons into angels and how these angels are going to help us lift ourselves up into a new, more advanced human state. Yo, welcome back to the channel, guys. Lucid Living. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the shadow. So I will go into the states of the shadow and how the shadow is actually going to allow us to transform our life into a more heavenly state. So I would like to explain this concept through levels. The first level being the acknowledgement of the shadow, the second level being the integration of the shadow, and the third level being the expansion of the shadow. And so we will begin with the shadow. The first stage is basically the acknowledgement of the shadow, right? And for, in order for us to acknowledge the shadow, we first need to understand exactly what it looks like and what it is. And so the shadow I would like to explain as something that we tend to ignore within ourselves or more emphasize would be that it is what humanity does not like about humanity. It is all the, the dark side of humanity, right? It is also what keeps us in a lower vibratory state. If we keep denying the shadow, we basically do not have the opportunity to let go of whatever psychic energy we have towards the shadow and expand from there. And so I would like to explain this furthermore through a story that my friend told me. So my friend as a lucid dreamer, he explained that he would have his dreams, but then there would be a time where there would be a shadow that appeared, a kind of scary figure in the background. And he could feel it, he could sense it, and the moment he felt it and he sensed it was when he, the moment that he started running away, he was trying to escape. But we all know how those kinds of dreams go, right? He wouldn't be able to escape from the shadow but he explained that everything switched the moment he tried to face it he wanted to find out exactly what was it that was scaring him and the moment he turned around was the moment he realized that what was following him what was pursuing him what was haunting his dreams was basically himself he turned around and he saw a mirror image of himself and that's when the all of the dreams all of the nightmare it went away because he hit the realization that he was being afraid of himself he was afraid of some shadow aspect of himself and so the moment we acknowledge the shadow is the moment we can begin integrating it so the integration stage is basically when we acknowledge our shadow as ourselves we recognize it as an aspect of ourselves and when we acknowledge both sides of our living both sides of our existence then we are able to integrate them as one and basically use the shadow for our service. When we befriend the shadow, the shadow becomes our servant. When we give it love, when we accept it, it also gives us something back. It gives us a gift. The gift comes in the form of competence. Competence to do the things that you want to do in your life. When you convert a base metal, just like anger, or like lust or anything like that, we can use that example from alchemy, and we convert it into something which will aid us in our life, such as giving love or being more assertive, then we are basically acting as creators here and expanding our own existence. You can make the parallel here that basically, when you take on greater responsibility, you're also taking on greater power. It is not just that great power brings great responsibility, it is also the other way, where great responsibility brings great power. And from that great power, we can go into the next phase, which is basically expansion. And so so the next stage, the next level after integration is expansion. It is the expansion of the shadow that has been integrated. It is when we, we look into this box and we start pushing it outwards. We start connecting the dots. We start seeing exactly where our feelings can be applied. This comes as a result of our holistic thinking where we start making the connections that your ability to think is not limited by just logic. It can also be expanded into intuition. And so with this comes more psychic abilities. It comes a more refined control of your awareness. By this I mean your psychic energy is no more being used up by the lower frequencies of the shadow state. They are now being expanded upon. And now, because of this freedom that they carry, they're able to be used more fluently and more powerfully. For example, we start developing abilities such as clairaudience, clairvoyance, telepathy. We start being able to use our intuition much more easily. Our, our feelings of love, our feelings of compassion are actually much more expanded, much more full. This is where we start to actually recognize the state of heaven. And with this, we can start creating a new, more refined, more aware human being. All right, and with that, make sure to click on this video so you can keep on progressing on your spiritual path. I got you. Peace.